we've done the oil change, now we're going to move on to the inlet sieve. So how would we inspect the inlet sieve? All right. Well, Mike, when it's on the um, on the furnace, it's you're going to have to disconnect your inlet piping coming to it uh, via this KF25 clamp. Okay. <clears throat> the inlet sieve is, sits right on top of the inlet, of course, and your sieve is right here. We can clearly see this is a brand new sieve, yep. but if it was uh, and it had material in it, you'd want to clean it with whatever means necessary. You also want to check the condition of the O-ring. You want to check the condition of the flange. Okay. Make sure it's all going to go back together and Correct. be leak-free. Be leak-free and, uh, you know, as this would become plugged with more and more buildup of process material, the pumping efficiency of the pump would naturally go down. Good to know. Okay. The next thing I would recommend doing, Mike, is inspecting the anti-suckback valve. And this is fairly easily done. We've removed the inlet. There's four screws here on top. This is the inlet flange. It's important to note that this inlet flange can be mounted vertical position, as you see here, and it can be mounted horizontally. Okay. 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 Want, to, want to be careful, there is an O-ring. There is an O-ring. We want to make sure that O-ring's in, in perfect condition and can be reused. If not, we'll need to install a new O-ring. Next thing we're looking at is this plate. It's very important to note on this plate that the hole in the center here, or I'm sorry, the hole off-center here is up and to the left slightly. Okay. Now. Below it, you can see the anti-suckback valve, Mike. I don't think it can be seen on camera, but the anti-suckback valve should be centered in the middle of that hole. Okay. All right, so we'll remove this plate. Now we have access to the anti-suckback valve. The anti-suckback valve can simply just be pulled out directly with your fingers and inspected. And you notice it pulled out without any, yeah. any issues. Uh, and, and, and typically they will but it is something that should be noted. If it was difficult to pull out, then you might have to do some cleaning of the piston. Of the port itself. Of the port and the piston. Okay. Now you have an O-ring underneath, and this O-ring, of course, is brand new, but you want to <coughs> inspect the condition of it, make sure it's not wore out, flat, any dirt material on, on the O-ring. want to make sure it's in perfect condition. And <coughs> typically, uh, over use of time, you will see some buildup of material on the rubber part of this anti-suckback valve, you can use a rag with some cleaner alcohol or a, a water-based cleaner to wipe this clean. So how would you know when that's starting to go bad? Well, these are very reliable anti-suckback valve, but if you had oil migrating from the inlet of your pump out, and when the pump was shut off, that's telling you the anti-suckback valve is not sealing. Okay, or if the line goes up in pressure really, really high. Yes. When you yes. turn it off. When you shut the pump off, okay. the, the pressure should uh, it should hold at a, at a given pressure. But again, uh, this, this is a very reliable seal. You just want to make sure it's kept clean. Okay. Okay. So to reassemble, you just simply drop it back down into the slot. Check the O-ring. Again, this is the important part. I see a lot of people making mistakes yep. with this. Again, it's offset and to the left. So it's Up in line with the valve. Right. Once it's installed, you want to make sure this plate is clean on both sides. Once it's installed, the valve, the center of the valve will show up in the center of that hole. Okay. If, it is disassemb if it's assembled improperly, the anti-suckback valve will not work. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll put the port back on. Let's check is the O-ring. The O-ring is still in good condition. Yep. And we're going to have it facing upward. Hold that Simply you. just unscrew it. Thank you, Mike. So then we tie into the system again with our KF fitting. Yep, the KF fitting and your sieve. Oh, almost forgot the sieve. <laughs> Got to have the sieve. Okay. And then you'd simply clamp back up. 